بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء وخاتم النبيين نبينا محمد وآل آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'm your brother Abu Abdullah Abdul Latif from both AbdulLatif.com as well as Arabic Virtual Academy. Today I want to deal with a question from our sister Maryam. And I guess generally what is trying to be figured out here is is the situation of Yom Al-Qiyamah. You know, um, how we know that some people are going to be uh, firm Yom Al-Qiyamah and uh, it would be made easy for them to get into the Jannah. And some people will have a harder time, you know. How is there a way that we can go about being of those people who are um, made firm? Are there things that we can do to get ourselves to prepare ourselves for this? And this actually is an excellent question, you know. And the answer for it is huge. You can write volumes, you know, in terms of what the ulama have said over all of these generations as to, you know, how to deal with this situation. But, you know, uh, as we know, time is limited. And um, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to point out a particular narration. One, because it's beautiful the way it's put together. Um, and two, because it makes it it's an easy way to prepare. You all know, and uh, I hope that it doesn't come across like I'm trying to make people lazy in their ibad. Always looking for easy ways to worship. But in our lives, in our situations, a lot of people don't have a whole lot of time to do a whole lot of different things. Huge acts of ibad. And there are a lot of I'm not going to say small acts of ibadah because when you're worshiping Allah, there aren't small acts. But there are things that are easily done that you can do over and over and over again all the time, constantly, and stack up these good deeds. And this is a lot of times what I try to point the people to. So in this, the answer to this particular question, this particular narration gives you something really easy that you can do. To Inshallah, please Allah so that he make your situation easy. And this is the narration of Ibn Umar, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, where he says, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Man masha ma'akhihi fi hajatan, hatta yuthbitaha. أثبت الله قدميه يوم يزول الأقدام سبحان الله The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He said whoever goes out with his brother for the purpose of fulfilling a need until he has fulfilled that need then Allah تعالى will make his two feet firm basically on Yom Al-Qiyamah the day in which people's feet will slip this if I'm understanding the question correctly is what you're looking for a way to make your situation firm Yom Al-Qiyamah this is something that you can do for any of the brothers or sisters. This is something a lot of us we do normally. But keep this in our niya and our intentions. That we're helping. Not only just going to aid somebody in doing something that they need done. It could be hanging up a picture. Getting into a locked door. Getting to work. Getting home from work. I mean, there are lots of ways in which we can help an individual fulfill their needs. 
taking one of the older brothers and sisters to the supermarket. They can go shopping once a week. The Prophet wasallam said in this narration, whoever goes out with his brother to fulfill a need and he stays with them until they, that need is fulfilled, that Allah will make his feet firm. You know, there are so many examples as to how we can do this and we can do it regularly, repeatedly. Someone needs your help on the job. Aid them. Help them get that job done. And know that the Prophet ﷺ said this is going to be a reason for, inshallah, Allah to make your situation firm, Yom Al-Qiyamah. It could be something as far as making dinner, getting groceries. There are a million and one different things. So keep this in mind when we talk about what it is that we're trying to establish in our lives. When we talk about, you know, trying to prepare for that day in which we're going to meet Allah. Aiding one another and helping one another fulfill needs that they have is something that we should just do normally as human beings. That many of us do normally, even with our families. And look at the reward that Allah Ta'ala has put for doing this. Look at what Allah has set up for the individual that does this. And the majority of us, we do this on a regular basis anyway. Now we can increase to help to better our situation because we know of this narration. Now not only can we, but we should increase in what we're doing. But look at how much Allah loved you as an individual. That He made this something this easy, something this normal, as something that's going to make your situation easy on Muqiyamah. Allah doesn't have it set up because that, or in a way that in which He wants to punish you. Look at how easy Allah has made it. We just have to put a little effort for it. So don't look at it as though, you know, Allah is just waiting to ambush you. Allah doesn't want bad for you. He wants good for you. He made it so that there are a lot of easy things that we can do to make our situation better and to add ease to our situation. So take advantage of narrations like this. Take advantage of situations like this and acts of ibadah like this. That you can do easily, quickly, and on a regular basis. And start stockpiling those good deeds. Because the day is going to come in which we need it. Now I hope I understood the question correctly. And, you know, um, I hope I answered it in a way that was beneficial. No, this isn't the only way to go about doing this. But like we said, it's easy. And in anything, we start with those easy things and we work our way up. So we don't jump right into something huge and burn out and end up not doing anything. So try and take advantage of this. And, you know, if you feel as though this wasn't, the answer you were looking for, write back in and let us know. And I'll try to tackle the question in another manner. But, um, you know, we ask Allah Ta'ala to accept from us our ibadah, to continue to make it easy on us to be able to worship Him and gain His pleasure. And we ask Him to forgive us for our shortcomings. Ameen, ameen, Allahumma ameen. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. وأشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت وأستغفرك وأتوب إليك. And we ask you to keep us in your du'a, and you know, hopefully you found this beneficial. If so, if so, you know, let others know about it. And inshallah, we'll see you with the next question. بإذن الله تعالى. هياكم الله. 